How's it going guys? Today I'm gonna teach you how I made this scene inside After Effects. It is pretty easy and I'm gonna teach you step by step how I made this scene. And if you wanna have access to my address pack, link in the description have all the plugins, softwares, handers animated like this one right here. It's all on my address pack and yeah, link in the description. Okay, first I'm gonna create a new position, so Ctrl N and I'm gonna use on those configs right here I, i'm just gonna change the duration as you can see it was eight minutes and i'm gonna copy magma render so Control c and yeah it's important you need to have after effects 25 okay if you don't yeah sorry <laughs> but you can have access on my address pack and i'm gonna just um reset uh the position and reset the scale also the orientation i'm gonna get this model right here and um, and I'm gonna drop on my composition and you can just click OK and I'm gonna just hide the Machima render and create a new camera so Control Alt Shift C OK using C as you can see you will have those tools right here this is the pen this is the zoom and this is the rotation and you can use for and to move on the composition I'm gonna like put like right here that's good and press s i'm gonna i'm going to unlink right here and increase the scale something like this that's good and unhide the machima layer increase the render and the like right here you can change the one view to two views right here and okay and i'm gonna use those things right here and I'm like right here let me see yeah that's good I guess not too much I guess that's good and just increase it and like right here for fun I'm gonna make a new light so control alt shift L and I'm gonna change uh point to spot and get like red increase the con angle and yeah right now that's good as you can see we cannot see anything and then just click right on the position and then just uh change on uh, the rotation and the position okay you can increase the con angle decrease the intensity i'm gonna duplicate the slide so Control d double click and i'm gonna change to i guess parallel and i'm gonna like white that's good i can decrease a little bit point looks good as well Yeah, right now looks good. Um, I'm gonna make a camera animation. So press P, holding Shift, press A, and holding Shift, press R. And I'm gonna mark those keyframes right here. Press U, press U again. And I'm gonna just change a little bit right here. Mm, I'm gonna just put quarter. As you can see, my PC is almost fine. So yeah, um, I guess something like this and i'm gonna some frames forward like three seconds and just make an animation yeah something like this i'm gonna increase the z rotation okay something like this that's good you can uh change the light position as well press p on the shift press a mark those keyframes right here and I'm gonna just I'm gonna select those keyframes, F9, go to graph and make this graph right here. I'm gonna make a blur animation as well. So control alt Y to make a new judgment blur. I'm gonna add the S blur or you can use the Gaussian blur, doesn't matter, it's the same. The S blur is a little bit more realistic. 
and but zero make the uh, mark the keyframe press zero i'm gonna play right here and you can increase it Control alt y and i'm gonna add a uh, one frame effect preset okay this is a preset for my address back and then just go some frames forward and cut this layer Control shift d and press down let's gonna see that's good you can uh, remove like whatever you want to for example this one but yeah for me it looks good now i'm gonna add looks preset to make more beautiful as since it's not very good the lighting and yeah control alt y and the looks effect and just click edit and choose your preset it's like this preset from my auto spec i'm gonna duplicate this layer so control d and you can add a brighten contrast just increase a little bit of the contrast and the brightness as you can see um, i'm gonna increase a little bit of the strength of this one right here looks good Control a click right here on the motion blur Control shift c move out post from the composition and i'm gonna add the post right time i'm gonna apply like 18 that's good and as you can see we have our animation it's so beautiful i really like it and i hope you like it too again please check my editor spec link in the description i promise you're not gonna regret it and it's so cheap it's it's really worth it Thanks so much, guys. Kiss. Yes.